Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing Enigmatica 6, and, uh, today we're gonna, we're gonna start off in the kitchen. I've been, uh, slowly starting to make the foods, and, uh, some of the pies at least. What we've really got are most of the boozes. We've managed the beer, the cayenne, the cider, the whiskey. The cayenne, I want to say it was cassava. And we've also got the meat and the vodka. Alright, all of these are done but one. So you just uh, right click here. Now, I want to say that since... No, well, it's not the sorghum. There's one more. I'm trying to remember how to make it. It's unfortunately not in J.I. But we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, so the Tislin is cactus fruit, and we don't actually have cactus fruit. <laughs> I don't think so. There's a... I don't know if we can get it from this guy. No? That's okay. I don't even think we found a desert in this world. <laughs> so the last thing to make, as soon as that other one is finished, is the wine. And then we'll just have to keep an eye open for cactus fruit if we ever find a desert. Now the next thing we want to make here is a uh, cheese wheel. And you do that with vinegar and milk. And the vinegar is just a glass bottle and different kinds of, you know, what have you. So we've got our milk over here. So let's see. There's 14. Now, I don't know what you're supposed to do is put it down and then right click it. I don't know how many you get. Probably eight. Seven? There's got to be another one. Okay, well maybe you get seven. I feel like there should have been eight there. But... We got seven again. So maybe you just get seven. That's fine. Anyway, that's how you deal with the cheese. I don't know if you can just eat the entire wheel. It looks like you can. Um, well, I noticed this has, uh, this doesn't say eaten or not, and this says we haven't eaten it yet, so. So that's, uh, something we can keep in mind. Some of it's uncraftable. Like, we can't get this, this, uh, <clears throat> this bacon. We can, cause, we have to do it from this raw bacon. Um, <clears throat> and the only way to get this is with a knife, and you end up with this, but cooking this, you get, uh, you get the wrong stuff, basically. You get the wrong kind of bacon. So hopefully that won't interfere with our heart gain too much. I mean, we've already got between our armor and <laughs> all the food we've eaten, we're up to like, what, 24 and a half? So that's, uh, you know, if we're missing one or two at the top end, that won't be so bad. None of it doesn't stack at all. Like the broccoli cheese soup, the borscht, it looks like the simple farming stuff in bowls just doesn't stack. So we won't keep a big stock of that. But I want to fill this kitchen up as much as possible just for fun. So by far the easiest way to get cocoa beans in this for some of the other uh, simple farming recipes like the chocolate and all that um, is through Batania. You can't really grow them with the silk. They won't grow with jungle saplings. Um, they don't seem to grow in garden cloches. So this is kind of what we want. Um, so we're going to need to get into Batania a little bit. Um, what I'm doing is um, setting up, uh, this, this is another one of those open crates. You just make it with the living wood and then the living wood planks like we did uh, earlier. But what we're doing here is uh, it's a simple little vanilla mechanic. We're going to need a slab. So the open crates work just like droppers, except instead of, there we go, instead of just spraying it like a mob sprays item, 
it drops it straight down. And the way this works is that uh, when there's something on the pressure plate, the pressure plate emits a redstone signal. Wait a minute, could we get that? <laughs> could I make this even more compact? No, okay, it won't power the block above it. <laughs> I don't think so. So, and we just send the redstone signal up. We use the half slab track here so that we can save ourselves a little space and feed a redstone signal directly to the hopper. Now, the hopper is just vanilla mechanic. When it's got a redstone signal, it will not deposit items. Right? Right. Now, what we're going to do with this is uh, generate something called mana. Not, not with redstone, but uh, we'll get into that. The first thing we're going to want is a mana spreader. And you can learn all about this in your lecture because but it's just uh, just a gold or some other kind of metal and a petal or any one of those mushrooms that we've been messing, that we've been picking up underground. And that, yeah, we're gonna start getting the Batania quest as we do this, aren't we? Um, okay, a little rare Batania loot. What was it? Vine balls. Oh, okay. You can throw those at blocks and get mossy versions. It's, uh, there are better ways to get mossy stuff in there. Now, let's just look at the order real quick, because what we're doing is we're, we're headed towards this. These endo flames, and it looks like it wants us to do all of these first. So, we're going to go ahead and make a little living rock. And we do that the same way we made the living wood. We just uh, put it down one block away, in this case stone, from our pure daisy. And we'll see the white particle effect. And in about a minute, you'll get your living rock. And you just, well, you tool the mine. You dirt won't work. What we want to do, first off, with our living rock, is make a mana pool. And it's just buy the living rock like you harvest, just like so. Now we're going to put it down right here. Let's uh, see what that mana does. Oh, we got mana diamonds. That's nice. We're not exactly running a diamond shortage, but, uh, mana diamonds will still be good. Um, we're also gonna want a wand of the forest, and that's, uh, two living wood twigs. I'm making some more living wood right now. Alright, we might have made this before I lost my backpack <laughs> in that one update. But, uh, just in case we didn't, um... This is in this crafting grid, I guess. Um, what we need are living wood twigs. We need three of them. And they're expensive. It's two living wood blocks for the twigs. And then we need two of any color petals. And the petals you use will show up on this thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, so that's nice. And we'll just throw these in here for now. And that'll give us this quest. And for loot, we got what? Oh, we got a bunch of uh, living rock. Very nice. We will, we will go through it. Finally, we're going to go back to our petal apothecary here. And we're going to make some endo flames. Maybe four red. And we're growing all these flowers with our filth over there. Um, now, endo flames, you can read about them in what used to be the generating forest section of the Lex Botanica. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, these are uh, kind of your, your entry level mana generation uh, devices. We're also going to want a bucket. I don't have a buck, I'd probably use it to craft something. Um, grab one of these buckets. 
just fine. So, what we want are petals and seeds. And this particular flower is uh, two red petals. Or no, I tell a lot. It's, uh, you can shift right click things right out of there in the order you put them in. It's two brown or red alike gray, and you can see the recipe tool tips show up. And we're going to make a bunch of these endo flames. Now, what we're going to do with these things is not, not right next to the pressure plate. It seems like you can automate a lot of stuff in Batania just with vanilla mechanics. And a lot of it's sensitive to redstone. So we want to go, uh, I think we can put them right next to each other. I think it's only the solar ones that you don't want to have right next to each other. But we'll find out. I've got a little bit of charcoal. And what these will do, like we could just throw a piece of charcoal down. And uh, one of them will pick it up and take our wand to the forest, we can see that since there was a mana spreader, when we put these down, it just connected to it automatically. It's sending mana off here. Mana spreader is putting the mana in the pool. You can already see a little bit of blue down there. But uh, these don't generate very much, and we need a lot of mana. So we don't want to throw just like a skillion charcoal on the ground, because it'll despawn. So if we set it up like this, this is just sort of <laughs> super basic redstone contraption. There will only ever be one piece of charcoal there in the world, and eight of these will burn it all up fast enough. But, uh, let's just make sure they're all, uh, they're all getting it. Yeah, looks good. I only put 20 in, but we're, we're going to need a lot more than that. Let's see how we're, how we're doing. Alright, cool. Mana is the main energy of the Tania, and uh, you can use it for all kinds of things. You can just throw stuff in here and change it into other things. See a little green check mark? Means we can throw that ender pearl in there, get ourselves a mana pearl. And that's two quests we got rewards for. We got an open crate, very cool. And a massier monocle. And for this we got some more rare penny of loot. Oh, what are we doing? Benevolent Goddess Charm. I wonder what it does. We'll have to look that up. This I think we put it in our charm slot. We've already got the environmental eye there. But we'll just take a look real quick. Oh, it gives us an advancement when we do that. Okay, I see a little visual distortion. <laughs> anyway, I think I, uh, I prefer this thing. Um, the goddess charm, though. I think I have the, yeah. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Going to the index. Um, I'll be here somewhere, right? I'm not really sure what. Well, it might not. Might be lost. Let me do this trick. Pasture key. Do you use it for anything? Well, we'll figure it out eventually. For now, we're just gonna throw this stuff in our storage system. Um, so, what this business over here is for, um, there's also a couple of blocks you can put underneath the mana pool that will unlock additional recipes. Now, some of them preclude other ones, so we're gonna wanna shift it in and out of here, and eventually I'll probably put this system down like underneath and make it nice, but I just want to get this going. What we want is an alchemy catalyst. And 
We'll put it right here with the sticky tip and uh, make ourselves a lever. Or take ourselves a lever. Oh, the lever popped off. There we go. That's fine. I'm not super good with <laughs> vanilla redstone mechanics. But what we want to do now is, uh, for our, our chocolatiering purposes, we want to get ourselves a bunch of pumpkin seeds. Uh, maybe somewhere. There we go. And I know we don't have enough mana yet to transmute all of these. Um, So with mana infusion and the alchemy catalyst, um, you can uh, you can change pumpkin seeds into cocoa beans. And is there a way we can see the recipes? Well, I'm not sure. And you know, this is something you can also automate. If you just throw them in here. And, uh, and you'll get some cocoa beans. Cool. Now, in the last episode, we managed to, uh, get that witch to, uh, take the R's Ecclesia after throwing the wrong book several times. And, uh, making, getting it to put this sign in our, uh, in our book. So, we should get Kraken into R's Ecclesia. Into, what's it called? R's Ecclesia. <laughs> we have any, we got some more awards kicking around here somewhere. Oh, Nature's Aura. Okay. Oh, so we got uh, a staff of boulders? What on earth is that? Okay, we're looking that up. <laughs> there are index here. Staff of ancient knowledge. Staff of boulder. Uh, staff can be created that shoots out a ray of light. Cause it. Okay. Ho oh. ho. So it'll use the aura that you're carrying on you to place lights or to set things on fire. So that's pretty cool. Um, we should... Uh, I don't think I'm going to use that, but I think that's worth... Do we have anything like a display case? We got these display tables from Pneumatic Craft. Those are okay. So I think what we're going to do is uh, make ourselves, yeah, we're just going to make ourselves a little table here, because I don't think we're going to use this, but it would be cool to have it, like, around, um, So for now, we'll set it up there, and let's see if we have any of those. Yeah, we have one glass item frame. Let's right-click that in there. Turn it around. And there's our staff of boulder. Right where we can see it anytime we need it. So... Find the Art of Ecclesia chapter here if there is one. I assume there's one. Um, oh, I do That's the name of the mod. I'm like, okay, so alchemy practice, all this different stuff. Signs and chants. Okay, we did that. We got our sign. And in return, we got some bricks. And some books, it looks like. I won't, I won't complain about that. Now the next thing it wants us to do, basic altar. So wooden altars, and it wants a straw effigy. Well, we've got some wooden altars. Um, we picked that up in the Idolan dungeon. We found it earlier. Now to make the effigy, I'm sure it's in our book here. Um, natural phenomenon, rituals, artifice, maybe? 
I don't see it there. Third straw effigy. Okay, so just normal crafting, five wheat. Easy. And we're gonna do a fill. Very nice. Now this altar is a multi-plot. You can put just a straw effigy down if you want to, but we've got some of the candles, we got a skull. All of that's gonna improve it. And that'll give us a couple candles and a zombie head. So let's look in here about altars. Um, altars can be constructed any shape and size. You've got to have an icon, other magical paraphernalia. So what all can we put on it, does it say? Um, altar lighting. One power, one capacity. Candles for my dolan. and candle sticks. Okay, so the candles and the candle sticks look like, uh, okay, so it's, it's only going to recognize one anyway. So how do we make the, uh, the candle sticks? I'm sure it's an artifice. We'll see how wrong I am. Um, <laughs> we'll just look it up. Um, Depending on me being able to spell. Um, so we'll need some of this arcane gold. Now this stuff we make in the crucible and we need these soul shards. I would prefer to have a source of soul shards before we use any of the two we have. We might not have enough as it is. So we're going to leave it with the candles for now. Alter skulls. The so skeleton with difference between capacity and power, but I'm sure we have a wither skull now. Whoops, that is not the, uh, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, we have one. Oh, cool. So that's another quest. Wither skull, and that'll give us something, and I think that's a wither skull fragment. Potion of wither. Okay. Just kind of guiding you through. Um, what is true in here? I guess. Um, but all this business is definitely going. Oh, we got three. Cool. Okay, so what else can we put on our altar here? Um, herbs? Crimson fungus, warp fungus, or wither rose? So, oh, no, wither rose is the best. Now, I don't know if we have a wither rose. I don't know that we can make one. Well, we had, I guess these, well, who knows? <laughs> We need wither bees. Yeah, so that's a little bit out of reach, but we have, I think we, we might have, we might be able to get the, uh, it's right out of here, if not, okay, it's right outside. These botany pots have been great, but they don't grow the, uh, the, uh, block. We're not getting cocoa beans out of here, so that's why all that. Alright, instead you just put a, Put a flower pot down. Put it down there. Right. So now that we've got that, we can't really do the goblet yet. Um, I mean, we could. But uh, now we got dark prayer. Now this, the way this works, is uh, open your book, and you just click it, and then click the chant. And if it works, that happens. So, so there you go. Um, we and you want to keep doing that. You keep doing that, and eventually you'll unlock uh, the next sign. I'll try to get that on film. So let's uh, let's go farther into this. We may need 
more of these soul gems, so we might have to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, what we want is this crystallization ritual, and for this you need bone meal, redstone dust, some undead. <laughs> but how, how do you do it? So, your brazier, you put an item on top of it, you light it with flint and steel. Um, and that's how we make it. So I'm pretty sure we have one already. Yeah, we stole one from somewhere. Um, and I think... Well, let's, let's take a look. Item receptacles. A stone hand. So that's where we put our redstone. And we have some stone hand. Now the other thing we're going to need for this is some undead. So, what we're gonna do is, uh... I've still gotta chop down all these trees that, uh... we had set aside to make, uh, what am I trying to say? All that golden nature's aura stuff. So we'll just, we'll just clear out an area over here and set this up and wait for nightfall. Yeah, so... Alright, we're gonna set this up. This is only, uh... This is a pretty basic ritual. Um, and the hands can be pointed in any direction. I'm gonna see if I can figure out. Yeah, so they, they face towards you as you place them down. Cool. So we're gonna want some redstone. And it was one redstone in each of these. Now you can use these as display. I wouldn't recommend using too many of them. Probably flag up your scene. Uh, okay, and bone meal. So let's get some bone meal. And that goes right there. And we're gonna need a flint and steel. Here we go. And when we uh, draw undead over here, we're gonna wanna basically light the, uh, right click with the uh, flint and steel onto the, uh, onto the brazier here. Some more of that cool piece. Still gone. <laughs> now this setup is doing a wonderful job. That's uh that's a significant amount of mana. I think see the charcoal super fast. So this will be sustainable for a little while. Anyway, almost dark. Now we're gonna let mobs spawn over there and we're gonna let our cat slippers Keep the creepers away. Love those things. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, we got a couple zombies over there. And a spider that I just want to get rid of. I don't want to deal with it. Um, so let's go ahead and gather some up. Come on, zombies. Come on. Is there another one of you over here? There's a skelly. Alright, we're going to swing down here and light this, and we're going to go close up out of their range, and when all of the items get consumed, they should leave us with some soul gems. Oh, we got seven, okay. So what we're going to do is just set it up again. Yeah, you. Got any more around? I see some creepers over there. There's that skelly. Come on, you. Hey. Yeah, that's right. There we go. 
Let's see if that skeleton is close enough. How close we have to get him. Oh, now it's pretty close. I'm not sure that one. Alright. So that's how that kind of ritual works with the uh, brazier and the, uh, the pedestals and all of that. Next thing we need is arcane gold. Um, and there is J.I. engraving with crucible. Um, so you see it's step one and step two, right? The way this works, and this is, it's kind of, it's finicky enough that I'm not even, I just want to shift click these in. Um, we set this up a couple episodes ago before we got distracted making ourselves a witch. Um, we've got the crucible with an open crate and a hopper above it. Now what you want to do is drop them all in, wait for it to change color, and drop the next ingredients in it. I at least had a, a very difficult time. Oh, the gold didn't go in. Yeah, I have a very difficult time with this thing. I don't mind telling you. Um, so I screwed that one up somehow. But, like, the open crate for this is absolutely key. Um, and we'll want to... Maybe we picked up the gold on accident. Like, stuff doesn't really seem to sit in there. But it should bubble. Yep. Yeah. Throw our gold in. And that gave us arcane gold. Oh, 16 of them. Okay. Boy, oh boy. We're going to want to make this site first, if possible. Um, to make the Reaper's site. We're going to need one of these magic workbenches. And also, something else fancy. We're going to need one of these unholy symbols. And I don't think we know how to make those yet. The magic workbench, though, is easy enough. Well, we may be doing this out of order, but... Oh, did we already make it? We already made it. Okay, so it looks like what's limiting us is the unholy symbol. So, I don't even see it yet. So maybe, what we should do is just start making everything we can out of the artist's chapter. So reagent. Coal and enchanted ash. That'll give us that golden stone. We throw the ash in here. Yes, we did. Okay. Run out of time. All right. Okay, that got us the ash. Now we can get essence of death. That we're gonna need. Um. So we'll make one of them for now. Um, let's just get it J.I. in front of us here. Um, so rotten flesh, two bone meal. I wanted to say a piece of charcoal. You said charcoal? Yeah. Easy enough. Okay, the actual recipe for this stuff, though. Is a little different. What we have to do... Put these in, wait for it to bubble. Throw the bone meal in, and then stir it twice. And for that, you have to, uh... Click it with an empty hand here. Um... And then throw the charcoal in. So this is, uh... Can be something. Oh, there was no water in there? I thought there was water in there. Alright, now there's water in there. Let's get it boiling. Didn't take very long. 
them. Burn. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. There it goes. Get the bone meal in. Okay, hopefully we did that fast enough. We shall see. I did hear a glug once. Nah, we didn't get it. You gotta be really fast with this thing. Um, like I said, it's finicky. So let's get out uh, another zombie heart. We don't have too many of them. that's the wrong thing. We don't have too many of these zombie hearts. Um, I'll try to make two of these, I guess. Um, so two rotten flesh. Four bone meal. And two charcoal. And if you're using any kind of magnet at this point in the past, um, keep it off around this thing. It is fast. Looking for it. Maybe. Yes! Alright, I'm gonna try to make one more. I was just, I was <clears throat> on this up here in the inventory listening for the noise. Stir it almost immediately, and then get the charcoal in there. Oh, there's our essence of death. Now the ritual we have, it's only the most basic, and it seems like it doesn't really do anything. But you gotta do it a couple times. You can only do it once a day. Ah! Okay. So that unlocked us another sign. And should have given us some more over here in third. Yeah, sacrifice animal. So we need a goblet. Now get the goblet. We're gonna need some more of this arcane gold. And we had to make 16 of it, so... I guess we probably got enough. So let's see. What am I trying to do? Redstone. We want 14. And 14 gold. Cool. And yeah, here we are again. Let's make sure we got this in the right order here, right? Yeah, two, one, and two. Okay. We got a bunch of this stuff to make. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, so we've made ourselves our, uh, our 16 arcane gold ingots. And we're going to get a passive moth. I'm going to come back up here to our magic room. And we are going to make the goblet now that we have the gold. It's just uh, four of these ingots. And the nuggets. But we only want these. The nuggets. And the candle. We'll get us. Whoops. That's what we want. Our fancy candlestick. And we'll put our goblet down. 
Now we got something going on. So, is there any specific way we're supposed to sacrifice the animal? Let's see if there's anything in here about this goblet. Playing feature over the goblet. Alright, so... What? Stop running. Is that close enough? That was close enough. Okay. So, let's go ahead and... Okay, so blah blah blah, right? So we go here, and we go blah blah blah. Didn't like it. Still got some blood. Alright, maybe because we did the one other chant earlier today. That's certainly possible. Now let's see what else we can artifice. Um, we got these soul gems. So those will need the soul shards. Let's, uh... We could do... Some of those inlays. That unlocks anything for us. Um, let's go ahead and claim fresh. Oh, it's the pig spawn egg. Okay, cool. Yeah, do this over instead of the dark prayer. Um, and for this, we got a basic amulet. Okay. So next up is the unholy symbol. Um, that's something we'll have to unlock by using the uh, sacrifice. Cool, cool. I'm gonna try this again. So that's blood. Yep. So what is this? this uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Unlock soul sign. Okay. Touch of darkness. Dark Lord is formed while looking at a certain dropped item when cast on a pewter inlay. Now, I don't know if this is one of the ones we can do multiple times a day. We have our inlays in here. Okay, we have an inlay in here. So, let's see. Okay, easy enough. Whoops. Terrible job. Oh, I dropped. Oh, hey, there it is. You got it. Nice. So that's another quest. And that will give us <clears throat> some of the sprouts. Can we grow these? And uh, no. Well, we got them. Cool. So let's make a few more of these. Doesn't seem to be a limit, although uh, it doesn't feel like they've passed. Okay. Now, first things first. We're going to make uh, another glass item train. That's that you see in the crafting grid there, a drawer upgrade in the obsidian. That gives you the void upgrade. I made one of those because we're at that point with potatoes. We have like 30,000 potatoes. And, uh, you know. There we go. Very nice. Now let's see if we can finally make that side. 
<laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think so. So, we need some tattered cloth, right? We need some pewter. Six, two soul gems. Actually, soul shards, I should say. Um, cool. Uh oh. Unfortunately, this machine doesn't have AI integration. So you gotta remember the recipe, and I am not good at that. Um, okay. And doesn't consume the unholy symbol. So we'll put that right there. Now, this is a quest too, but uh, we need the rest of this. <laughs> before we unlock it, but this is a this is a very important item. Um, let's see. This will allow us to just farm those soul gems. Um, so let's see what it what it give us here. Vigilante. I I do not care. <laughs> Get a book. Burrowing, sure. Why not? Um, some more laughter. Ah, all right, very good. Ah, looting's okay. We'll take the looting. That's fine. Let's see if we have uh, an unbreaking book, though. Okay, we have an unbreaking book. Nice. Now uh, we'll be using that tonight. Now what the site will allow us to do... We'll be able to uh, just harvest the soul gem from the various undead mobs directly. That's the fastest weapon. Oh, no wonder we're still in like hover mode here. There we go. Sharpness on it too. <laughs> oh, let's steal some more. There we go. Oh, fancy. Any more zombies in the immediate area? Okay. Oh, we'll just string. And that got us five soul gems. Cool. Alright, it's a new day. We got another thing above. Um, how do we do this again? Okay. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Let's see what else we have going on in here, though. We've got stone altars unlocked. So, two the computer inlays, two stone slabs, some stone, not bad. Okay, I make these in here. And we're just gonna one, two, three. Fine, and we got our inlays. And that's given us six stone altars. So let's go ahead and replace this. Oh, nice. Candlestick don't work. Fire about this. Spell's fine. Okay, we'll just have to replace the candlestick. So just like before. 
cool. I like it. So that'll allow us to perform more powerful rituals. Although our altar power and so on, I think it's still the same. So also in here, we had Elder Statue. Okay. So we're going to draw a holy symbol. Holy... Let's just uh, bring it up here in J.I. Eldar. There it is. Okay, here's our passing bit. Let's make our just oh we have some in there. Very good. And what was it? Four stone. What do we have? And I think it's smooth stone? Yep. Okay. I think we need a full gem. Yeah, I think it's the full gem we need, not the, uh, not the unholy symbol. But we'll find out. Not it. It needs the unholy symbol. That's just fine. And we'll place this. And we'll put this one down. Nice. Or we can put this somewhere else. Well, we have like. Item shelves. I know we have. Well, let's see what we have. Okay, yeah. We well, we got these bookshelves, and we do have just regular shelves. So let's, uh, let's see if we have. Okay. Planks. Class, throw them in there. I'm gonna make a set of these shelves. And we'll put it right over here, I guess. And there's the effigy if we need it later. Cool. Anyway, that's gonna have to do it for today. We made a lot of progress on the idol and quest line and in the mod itself. Uh, Place this a little nicer and uh, been having a good time. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.